want more control on toolpath approach and escape from the part, I'm going to show you how on today's Mazak Minute. Hi, welcome to the Mazak Minute. I'm Mike Zilich, part of the HEH technical team. Today we're going to talk about TPC, toolpath control. Let's get started. TPC is a function that allows you to change parameters and set relay points individually for each unit of the program. Uh, Toolpaths are automatically created using the data that has been set on the program display and the data that has been set in various parameters. The TPC data is intended to allow us to unit by unit make modifications of the toolpath that have been created and remove unnecessary paths or prevent interference. To get started with the getting to the TPC, what you're first going to do is you're going to go down to the bottom of your soft keys and you're going to go to program edit. From there, you're going to go ahead and you're going to select the name of the unit. The middle picture shows you the bar. Then you're going to go to your top of your screen and next to your question mark is a tool with a line that shows path. That's being right here. You'll press that, and what that will do is that will open up the TPC window. The parameter tab will probably be displayed first, and this parameter tab will show you what parameters are effective for that particular unit. This case here, let's say that this was a bar in operation. I could look at TPC 38, and if you look at that, that is going to pull off the contact point by 39 thousandths radially. So if I had a boring bar tool that was pretty tight in the hole that uh, I needed, uh, if I would come off that part too far, I don't want the back edge of the boring bar to hit. Most people would go in there and maybe change that to, let's say, five thousandths. That's just enough to come off and have it escape out of the hole. If we hit the relay point tab at the top of the uh, TPC, what you're going to notice is that there is going to be um, parameters uh, dealing with the rotation of the turret index. And you'll notice that there's two sections of this. The top section up here is for the roughing tool, and the bottom section is for the finish tool. Below the parameters, you'll notice that there's a approach relay point on the left middle section of the screen and then over to the right you have the escape relay point. If you go and you come and move your cursor to the auto, there will be a soft key down below that will allow you to uh, select manual and you can enter in the toolpath. Here you're going to see a standard uh, toolpath. What the tool is doing is it's coming from wherever the index position was, it's coming the shortest path down to the contact point. If you wanted to have it move maybe first further in the z-axis and come down, that's where I would set the TPC. So again, you're going to come to your approach relay point. Right now I'm going to be doing it on the roughing tool, cursor to the auto, and then the soft key will show me manual. I can come in and I'm going to enter in a relay point. Now you need to be careful with the relay points. First off, the X is going to be a diametral number. My Z is going to be uh, you have to watch your sign. Um, the only time you would have a plus for a uh, approach point in front of the part would be on a uh, facing operation on the front face. All the other operations would be uh, negative to the right. 
So if we look at it, I'm going to come down to my next screen. Once I have my TPC set, we're going to have the TPC end soft key. I'll press that and then it will return us back to the program and you'll notice next to the unit number that there is going to be a blue box with a white plus sign. That shows me that there is a TPC set for that unit. As I said earlier, you always want to verify that your uh, sign on the Z axis is correct. So always run a tool path to uh, confirm that the relay points aren't causing you any interference. Here's a view of two screens, the upper left. This is showing me correct where you're seeing a negative on the bar out operation. You'll notice right here that the tool path is in the front face of the part. The lower right you're going to see where I actually entered a positive value in the Z. And notice here that the value approaches inside the face of the part, closer to the chuck, and then it works its way backwards towards where the contact point Z is. Other ways we can do is if you found that as you were cutting your tool path that maybe that you didn't want to have that TPC active anymore, what you would do is you would go back to that TPC window and down below there is a soft key that says TPC cancel. When you get prompted, if you look at your prompt, it's going to say type in negative 999 and press input. This is a nice safe way to confirm that yes, you do want to cancel your TPC. You'll notice next to the unit number, in this case that unit number two, that where the blue plus sign was, that is no longer there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, program itself. I'm going to come here and I'm going to open up my control. We're going to, I'm going to hit my left soft key my arrow key there, and I'm going to go to program. And here is the program that I was using for my PowerPoint. We're going to come down here to the uh, program edit. We're going to cursor on the unit name. I'm going to click on that next to unit two. I'm going to hit that bar. And then I'm going to come up here to the top of the screen. And I'm going to press that uh, tool path next to the question mark. That brings me to the TPC. We have the uh, roughing tool and we have the finishing tool down below. I'm going to be working on the roughing tool so I'm going to come up here and on the relay point I'm going to highlight on the approach I'm going to come over here to the auto, click on it and come down in the soft key down below I'm going to hit manual now I'm going to come over here to my X and I'm going to enter in a value of six inches and I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to make the mistake and cause an error. I'm going to type in positive 110 thousandths. We're going to go ahead and hit uh, TPC end and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the far right arrow key program complete. And I guess, first off, notice up here next to the unit number two, notice how you see that blue plus sign. I'm going to come back down here to the tool path. We're going to do part shape. That's going to show me the part. And then I'm going to do a restart on the tool path. I'm going to come over to the far right soft key, press that, and then there's going to be a path restart. Press that and then there's going to be select process. And if you notice on the roughing tool that there is a blue up arrow, that's indicating that there is a TPC set for the approach. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm going to come back over to the far right arrow key and I'm going to do a path step. And what we're going to notice is that 
The tool path, oops, I guess I didn't select. Let's go back and redo the restart here. It went to do the face operation. I'm going to come back. Let's go back to the program. Tool path. Part shape. Far right key. Path restart. Select it. And what I forgot to do is I just jumped off that screen. You need to hit the OK. OK, so there's my bar out restart. I'm going to hit the far right arrow key. Path step. And now this is what I was looking for. Notice how right up here that the tool cursor is further in from the face of the part. I can also come over here to my position and notice that it's at negative 1, 1. If I do one more step, you'll see how that the tool moved back towards the face or the contact point that we're cutting at. I'm going to go back to my program, and now we're going to go ahead and fix it so it's correct. So program edit, click on the name or the unit name of the tool or the operation, come up to the top of the screen, and we're going to hit the TPC, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go ahead and type in negative 0.11. Input, TPC end. And now I'm going to go ahead and run the toolpath one more time. Program complete. Toolpath. Far right arrow key. Path restart. Select the unit. Say OK. And again, you see how the restart pops up with the unit that you're going to be restarting on. Far right arrow key. And I might even throw in the part shape. And now we're going to go ahead and do the path step. Now you'll notice that the tool is starting on the front. It went to the relay point. And my relay point over here on that position is shown over here. And now if I hit path step, it continues on with the rest of the operation. Just to show you how, if you would want to cancel out the TPC, I mean, I would normally run with that operation, that's fine. But down the road, if you said, you know what, I no longer need that, what you can do is you're going to go back to Program Edit, go to Bar, and we're going to hit the TPC. And if I come down below here on the soft keys, notice the TPC cancel. There's the prompt for entering the negative 9999 input. And what you'll notice over at the relay points, they disappeared. It went back to auto. And now when I hit the TPC end, you'll now see that that plus sign is no longer there. Thanks for watching the Mazak Minute. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. See you next time on the Mazak Minute.